There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Good morning. Um, how are you guys? Um, been a while. Um, I haven't um, actually uh, do any um, video about the uh, wagons um, camper. It's getting a bit nippy now is um I hope everyone is um taking care of themselves because um yeah actually the weather now is very hard to predict this day. I know it's um it's been very cold um too early I think I reckon. Anyway um today I just want to um update my um the camper wagon and what, what happened is um I realized is um what I actually need for my camper, I need, this is for solo camper, okay? Just, um, just a, uh, I gonna do a solo camper because um, I just did my um, six and a half thousand K up to um, uh, Ass Rocks a um, couple of months ago. And um, I did that um, with my partner, with my wife and everything going very smooth with this car and um, like i said the commodore is um, actually i i was expecting it to broke down somehow somewhere but actually it's not missed a beat so i'm very happy with the car and the car almost 400,000 k at the moment still going strong so um when i did that six thousand six and a half thousand k go and return and um we hardly sleep in the car, but we put the tent out like the swag and um, because um, two people and I have the big fridge, the 50 liters um, king fridge in the car, so um, that I cannot sleep two people inside. So we, we do like tent camping and we stay in the hotel, in the motel and um, in the resort, whatever, for that trip, like for 12 days or what I did. But anyway, now is, um, now I'm gonna go back to um, solo camper. So I try to work it out like what do I should do? How do I be able to sleep in the car without, you know, like um, have such a confined space or like too narrow. And I want to be comfortable when I sleep in the car. So um, I try different kind of ways, like even like, I want to able to use my car as a daily, um, you know, purpose, whatever. And um, I want to keep the back seat on the car. That's the whole thing because sometimes I need to, um, you know, I have friends and family come along going somewhere. So I don't want to um, strip the whole thing out and then build um, the bed base or something inside and then I lose the back space. But anyway, I want to get to the point. I want to show you what I have done. I come up with so many ways and I find this is the best solution for myself. And um, I still got plenty of space to sleep. Let's check it out. Okay. Okay, first of all, this is what it looks like. Okay. So what I have done here, actually I need this tool to carry my stuff for work. Okay. So basically I have like, when I, I want to use it for camping, I still be able to um, put a lot of stuff in here. This is a twin draw, Titan draw from Kings. Okay, so I be able to access into all my stuff here, and uh, we've got plenty of storage now at the moment. So even the top one is slide out as well. I mean, if you have this kind of draw, you know what I mean. And what I did there before I leave the I leave the um, the fridge on top of this and it's blocking my view it's because it's so high up so I lose the rear vision view I can't hardly see much and um, so what I did I and then I try like I leave it here and then I build a little bed here and then I lose kind of space like I, it's quite narrow for me and even I'm a small person so what I did now I leave it right down there and then I build the extra bed like extra base over there I will show you in a minute so I be able to move everything to the side now 
Okay, so I cut this um like a like a little cardboard or like a it's a timber board, whatever you call it. And um, I actually have to doing a bit of dodgy job there um, with the um, the glue and the silicon. Okay, to seal it because what happened is in summer, like when it's very hot day, sunny day, the glue not stay too long on the thing and it just keep falling apart but I still have that form behind that so I glue this board behind that form right there okay so it is quite stable now and I test it out been in the heat in the sun no problem I hope so it's pretty strong and solid even that one there okay and um, so I be able to sleep here like for one person and um, I have a little fan you know and the fridge not in my way like not in the fan way so I can get like you know a bit of wind from the fan but at the moment it's winter so this is the whole point that's why I have this insulation foam here to stop from the cold coming in where I sleep and I also have a block out on my window right there. You see the little one right there. And I also make a temporary one like I can remove for the rear window as well, both sides. And then I got curtain right there. All right, and um, I want to show to you guys how I hang my curtain because I have a question from um, one of the um, guys. Um, let me get in there. So what I did, I get the steel rod and then I bend and I like I um, make the end quite thin and then I bend it so it's hooked into this thing here so I don't need to drill a hole I don't want to damage the car and it's pretty solid pretty strong okay and the current is doing the job blocked out all right so my fridge is actually sit on my um, on my um, when I fold down the like I fold the, the back of the seat down and it's actually sit there quite all right so i will um tie this down like i will tie this down so the fish won't move and as you can see i got the the battery behind this i got like a three battery go across okay so that three battery can run my fridge about two three weeks no worries like if just the fridge all right so let's move on um let me put the fish back all right so if you want to know what i have done to my bed and how i did it i want to show you and it's removable that's a good thing like i still use the back seat so what i have done all right same thing i still got the seat here i fold right down and um, i build this little section here okay um this little section here it's just like a little table okay so and i just put the carpet on it so <clears throat> give a bit of warm kind of you know like bit of protection and thing like that so let me remove this out all right Okay, let me get this out a bit so you can see better. All right, so you can see um, actually this thing can be pushed all the way in there. I haven't actually permanent locking it, like I mean to lock it down just yet. So this come off. This is um like it's actually if I can just lift it. See that? It's just like a little table, but I just um build it to mesh. That section right there that way my battery going and um, if you worry about oh you sleep on the battery yes I did and um, no problem all right so I can remove that out and then use my back seat take the fridge out that's cool no problem that very easy and simple I just put this down uh, so this is not my actually uh, sleeping gear and this is what I normally have in my car just you know sometimes have a nap somewhere 
when I drive somewhere. So also I leave this um, kind of open as well so I can store the stuff like underneath. So I got plenty of room here. I still got plenty of space. Like sometimes you want to put your like, you know, your dirty clothes, your shoes. Like, I mean, I have a drawer. And um, for solo person, I got plenty of space, um, plenty of storage. And the front, I still um, um, have like a normal, like at the front there. So I, the reason I pull the front seat all the way back there, just um, when I sleep at night, is stopping the pillow from um, falling off. So it's not falling out to the, to the floor, to the ground. And um, so I usually don't have anyone coming with me, you know, when I go in camping. So the back seat, uh, the front seat can slide all the way back like that. And then I got room there to um, put more stuff in. Cool. Easy. Okay, so this is pretty much what it is I have upgraded. And um, so I still got my light there got my light here so it does come in handy when you open up the the drawer or like at night when you um you know like when they want to access into something this is how i build and how i gonna have it when they're doing my solo camping or the trip somewhere and my my mainly like i don't actually um go camp in the car Usually what I did here, this is for my long trip. So sometimes when I have a good long weekend or I have like a weekend, got nothing to do. I drive from here to Adelaide or from here to Melbourne. So I, 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 I'm not rushing, I'm not driving on the freeway. I usually go like, um, you know, like along or across, like go um, along the border and all that. So I can enjoy more relax. I pass through the little towns and um sightseeing you know like see different kind of towns and people so when i stop somewhere i sleep in my car that's a beauty part like so this is my purpose when i do a long trip but when i go camping usually i use my um my only and the tent or the i got like a owning tent and i got like a if you see my video i got a like a the hub as well so i got a few options i got the swag so it depends but i don't want to carry swag now because swag is take too much space like it's so big even you roll it down and it's still very big so um i'm not keen to carry um because i don't want to put on top of the roof because what happened first i got like um the solar panel there and if I put anything on the roof, it can stop me from charging while I'm driving. So I try not to put anything on, but if I have to, I would. I would. Okay, so now I want to talk about downside. If you do something like this for any wagons. Okay, the wagon first not designed to carry a lot of stuff in the car. Because at least you go upgrade your spring or your chocks or whatever you call it. And my car kind of like if you can see there, the front quite high, the back is quite low. It's not, it's not unusual because Commodore, pretty much like that. And um, but I think it's just a little bit heavy at the back right there because just the drawer itself without anything in it, that about sixty something kilo. I think 63, 64 kilos for this two. Like I have a hard time to bloody um put this I you know have to get someone to give me a hand bloody slide this in and it just sit on the thing here i don't fold it down i just have a little thing here as you can see it's bent because it slides sideways sometimes when i turn i mean I, I can lock it down if i want to but i don't want to do that you know this is the downside like it's heavy and is um I lose, if I will need to, if I have anything to do or change the tires or something going wrong, I need to access into my tires, the spare tires in here. And it's gonna be pioneer. So I have to get everything out and drag the thing out myself. And then um, try to manage to put it on the ground. I mean, 60 kilos, some people say, ah, easy piece of cake, but not for me. <clears throat> I have a back problem, so it's gonna be a bit tough for me. So hopefully, 
usually before I go anywhere I get my car checked but sometimes with the tires you know that you cannot you know expect them to be perfect all the way because sometimes you run into curve the sharp rocks or anything you know sharp, uh, sharp objects so yeah and then they have to change the tires that's gonna be pain but anyway so that's the downside and the second one is at the moment I have a hard time to get in the car okay before when I, I mean, if you see my first video, I have the draw, uh, like I build a little bit right there and then they have a draw, a single draw in the fridge on top. So that passenger seat, the rear passenger seat is, um, I can actually, you know, go and sit there and then I can jump on my bed. No problem. Okay. But now I got the fridge right there. All right. And for me to get in from there, like I'm a small person, it's not, it's, is still be able to access into that door right there to get in the thing so i have to do a bit of um you know like a ninja skill climb it and doing like somersault side flip and you know front seat back flip whatever you call it and then lay on the bed okay maybe that is gonna work i actually haven't slept in the car just yet but some people might say oh why don't you come in from the back okay no problem, I can get in from the back and then shut the thing down. But my car, I cannot open this thing from inside. So I cannot, I can go in there. If I need to go out, I cannot come out from the back because I cannot open it from the back, eh, from inside. So actually I have to go out that way. That's the only access I have. Or I have to climb from the driver or the passenger front seat. So I'm just gonna take that, uh, my little net down and then um, I can be able to, yeah, just climb over and, you know, bit struggle, but it's work. The thing is, I have tried different way, like I build a little base between uh, the front seat and the back uh, seat leg room. I build a little base there, so I got more space to sleep there as well but i mean i can sleep there but my leg cannot stress out or like straight out you know i have to bend my knee and then um, you sleep is um, a bit awkward at night like i mean you can't get a good sleep i mean you still be able to sleep but if you have a long trip driving you need a good sleep so that option is gone now in the bin so this is the best option for me at the moment I might come up with something else, I don't know. I keep trying different way, you know. But anyway, for anyone who um, try to find the idea and, um, you know, try to come up with something, maybe this is a guideline for you guys, you know. I don't know. Like, people have different, different kind of uh, lifestyle and purpose. So, if you're asking me, oh, where do you put your cooking? And I normally cook outside, like, I don't cook in the car. So I will put everything in here, like my food in one drawer and then my cookery and kitchen pantry and anything like in one one of the drawer. And like I say, like at the back seat there, like on the ground, I still got like space. I have little tubs and I can, I still fit a lot of stuff in there. So with the stuff, it's not a problem. And I got a little um, portable camping table and all that. that can go on the roof and it's not cover my um it's not gonna cover the whole thing like what do you call um the solar panel because my portable table is actually fit in this space here this gap here so i go across there so it's perfect you know like i i try to buy something that's suitable for uh my basket all right guys so this is how it is and um everything seems to be okay um at the moment it's um winter and it's quite cold so i would like to go and try it like my next trip i want to go to snow mountain and um maybe you know find somewhere in kuma or Jinabai, you know like to sleep overnight or something you know and then ski or like go um yeah up to the mountain like in the morning or something i will um if i when i ever have a chance to do that i will um 
um, update it and make a video and see how it go maybe if you don't hear anything from me for the next two years then you know i frozen and dead somewhere you know in the mountain so anyway guys um you have a good one and again this is um poor man camper wagon and um yeah we gotta keep trying you know like i mean it's not hard for a solo person uh person but for double i have to take this out and um, i have to make a bigger bed like bigger base right there to make you know to be able to sleep too but in winter i probably need just a little esky like you know to put it down here if i want to go for two people or something and then they make a big base um to make it like bed for two so see how it go all right guys um all right so pretty much that's it you guys have a good one and um any questions just um yeah shoot the comment and if i can reply but don't ask me anything too technical because i cannot understand it and um there's not me much to do questions. when okay. all i can I see you guys around is thinking about you see ya not doing well